So here we are getting ready, preparing for the kids to get started with this pumpkin carving contest. I'm just going around. All the kids' pumpkins have been washed, dried, and now they are looking at stencils, getting their ideas together, and, you know, checking out their tools that I had to run all around the world to find. Let me tell you something. Do not wait till the last minute like I did. I waited, and I had a hard time finding these pumpkin carving kit tools i went to eight stores and the last store i went to was michael's and i was able to find all of the things that the kids needed so now they are drawing on their pumpkins we had out of the five kids two of the kids freehand drew what they were going to carve and three of the kids used the stencils that came with the pumpkin carving kits so here they are doing their thing getting ready to get started on this pumpkin carving contest Now, here is where I had to have Dad step in and cut out around the tops of all of the pumpkins. The kids wanted Dad. They drew where they wanted him to cut. So then he took over and he started to cut the tops of everybody's pumpkins. So they would have kind of like an easy start. They could, you know just open pull the tops out and start gutting out the insides of their pumpkin so he's working with the first person that was ready and he is carving around the top so that her pumpkin is ready to go and ready to get started Okay, so dad is done and voila, here she is pulling off the top of her pumpkin, looking inside, and then she goes in for a whiff to see what it smells like. <laughs> so yeah, she's ready to go and on to the next one, dad goes. Dad is moving through these pretty quickly. He's now done with hers. And on to the next one. Here she is pulling her top off of her pumpkin so that she can get started getting it out, gutting it out, getting all the seeds and all the everything out of the inside of her pumpkin. She takes a look inside to see, hey, what's going on in here? And dad is now moving on to the next child.
I tell you, my husband is moving through these pumpkins like it ain't nobody's business. He only had to do four because, of course, our oldest son did his himself. Our oldest girl, her pumpkin is now done. She pulled her top off, and now she is going to get started emptying out the inside of her pumpkin so she can get to it. Now he's on to the last one, which is baby boy, and he is about to start cutting his top off of his pumpkin so that he can get started. This should be interesting. So as you can see here, our oldest, he is also currently cutting around the top to be able to pull his top off his pumpkin. He has the largest one and he has a lot of work ahead of him because he's going to have to gut this whole thing out once he gets this top off. Dad is working with baby boy and my oldest, our oldest is working on his. <laughs> Now his baby boy's done. So we thought he pulling and pulling and he having a hard time. He steady pulling because of course he wants to pull his off too. Dad's trying and we like, hold on, what's going on here? So dad had to get his tool back and kind of go back in to see exactly what's going on because the top is not coming off easily as the others were so dad's just kind of working and maneuvering it around until he gets it to where it needs to be so that baby boy can get his pulled off like everyone else did of course there's no way he's gonna allow us to pull the top off of his he wants to be the one that pulls this top off of this pumpkin Yeah, so dad had to do some extra wiggling and shaking and surgery on this one because it didn't come off as easy as the other pumpkin tops did, but he did eventually get it done and baby boy was able to pull it on off himself so he can get started gutting his pumpkin.
so now that everybody's tops off off and they are working on their pumpkins, I think my oldest daughter is kind of deciding what she's going to go with, which one she's going to do, while the rest of the kids are kind of going in and doing their thing. Some I see have lollipops while they're working on their pumpkins and getting them gutted out. But overall, I think everything's going good here. They're working. They're doing their thing. Um, this is the first time we've had them actually carve the pumpkins themselves with a little help as far as the baby boy goes. But so far, so good. Everybody's doing a good job and they're getting to it. Okay, so as they're doing the pumpkins, uh, our middle girl realizes that her head needs to be in a ponytail. I said, you want me to do it? Can you believe? Would you believe? She going to say, can you? And then going to tell me to do it tight. Come on now. I am the one who do your head, Miss Lady. Of course, I can put you in a nice ponytail so you don't have to worry about no pumpkin guts getting all in it. I'm telling you, y'all, it be your own kids trying you every time.
So here, as you can see, I'm walking around the table, kind of getting a closer look at how things are going with the kids, how empty they are, you know, how close they are to emptying out the inside of their pumpkin so that they can get started on the carving. And as you can see, the bowls are kind of getting full and everybody's doing their thing to get the pumpkins emptied out so that they can get started on their carving. So as you can see right here, baby boy is having a little bit of a struggle, right? So all I said to him was, you know, you can use your hand, right? He's shaking his head no. Then he's like, okay, I'm going to go ahead on and try it. And then now he's looking and he's saying, oh, no, this is disgusting. Look at his face. He does not want to be. Look, 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 look. It's so disgusting, mom. I'm like, okay. It's Come on, go ahead, do it. Know, it's supposed to be disgusting. That's what it is. You carving the pumpkin. This one, he said, nope. No. Let me pick my tool back up. You see the face? I mean, it be your own kids every time. Then he goes back in and he decides, oh, okay, I guess it's not as bad. I tried. But eventually, he tries it for a little bit. Then he ends up picking his tool back up. And at some point, I am going to have to help him because he is not feeling it as far as digging these guts out this pumpkin. So the kids are drawing on what they plan on carving. She's already gotten started carving. And the other girls and our oldest son is now putting his stencil on. They've put their stencils on and followed the directions, wet the paper, and then wrapped it in saran wrap so it would keep the stencil on to make it easy for them to be able to carve their pumpkins the way they want to and come out how it looks on the stencil. So they are really coming along. I am enjoying watching them do this for the first time all by themselves. I'm not as afraid of them using the tools as I have been in the past. And look at baby boy. He is getting right to it. And now everybody is carving. <laughs> So here's when I had to step in to help baby boy because he was having a little bit of an issue. So I just stepped in for a few minutes to help him get his eyes uh, all the way carved out of his pumpkin because he was very adamant about doing it 
himself. He did not want much help at all. So you'll occasionally see me pop in and help out when he said, Ma, I need your help. I came over to help him, but he wanted to do it all by himself in true baby boy fashion. That is how he is. He's like a little old man, to be honest with you. He's been here before. Um, he wanted to do it by himself, so I allowed him to do it by himself. And I only came over when he asked for help. <laughs>
Okay, so here you can see the bowls are full of pumpkin guts. The girls are over here getting to it and carving. The old, our middle girl is just about done with hers. And baby boy is getting to it with his carving. He is working this little hand, ain't he? He is working it. He is getting it done, and he is so serious about it. Our oldest, he's doing his thing and getting to it with carving his pumpkin. And our baby girl is very much into it, trying to make sure she get hers how exactly how she wants it. But they're doing really good, and it's going well. I am so proud of them, watching them carve out their pumpkins. <laughs> Okay, so it's looking like everybody is pretty much at the place where they're pretty much done. Some carving still going on here and there, but I see we have a couple kids that are done carving their pumpkins. They're standing back. They're looking at them. They're checking them out. Baby boy is still kind of like deciding if he's done or not. Our older son, he's kind of still going at it. But overall, they're pretty much done. They just looking at their pumpkins, checking them out. I've pulled out the lights that they can add inside their pumpkins. She's kind of cleaning up some spots on hers. So is our oldest daughter. They're pretty much done. And everybody's just checking them out, looking at them. We're going to get the table cleaned up here in a second. And you will see the ending and finishing products of these five pumpkins that have been carved by our five babies. <laughs> so much for watching guys i appreciate you guys taking the time out to watch our children carve their pumpkins in this pumpkin carving contest contest stay tuned i will be sharing who won